Hey guys, welcome back to the Let's Get Started channel. In this video, I have 5 more cool mods that you will definitely enjoy. So, shall we get started? So, the first mod of today is a mod called Identity. In this mod, you basically get to choose a mob that you have killed. Essentially, any mob that you have killed, you can turn into it, and you get its ability. But you also get its weaknesses. As you can see, I can fly, but it's night. Well, the phantom can only fly at night, or it will burn. So, I get its dis disadvantage. I can be a dolphin, but I can't breathe on land. Anything you've killed, essentially, you can become. That is how cool the identity mod is. It's essentially like the morph mod, but way cooler, if you ask me. Anyway, shall we continue? Okay, the next mod that I have for you today is a mod called Biome Locator. It is a mod that allows you to locate different biomes. The way you do that is by clicking, is by right clicking on the Biome Locator item and choose whatever you want to choose. For example, let's say Spruce. I can choose Spruce Tiger Hills or Spruce Tiger. And then I can just search, and it will search until it's found the place, and you can just follow the coordinates. Isn't that cool? Now, how about we go to the next mod, shall we? Alright, the third mod of today is a mod called Bedspreads. In this mod, you can basically make any banner that you like. For example, a blue skull, um, a red mojang symbol above it, and then if you want to make a different one, for example, just um, the greener or a piglin banner. Whatever banner it is, you can make it. And even better, you can put it on your bed. So, as you can see here, I already made that. I can even make this, and this as well. So look at these! Cool little bed spreads that you will enjoy. Anyway, let's continue to the fourth mod of today, shall we? The fourth mod of today is a mod called Vanilla Hammers. In this mod, it allows you to have hammers of varying levels, and I think you can guess what these hammers can do. It basically allows you to mine out a 3x3 three three chunk of stone. As you can see here, there's a, there's a bit of stone here, so I can mine out a 3x3 three three chunk like this. Isn't that nice? But of course, this is an ender hammer. It's one of the best. If I'm correct, the ender hammer is one of the best uh, hammers in the mod. Now, if you don't like the ender hammer, you can also choose the emerald one, or, for some whatever reason, you can also choose the wooden one. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next mod of today, shall we? Now, the final mod of today is a mod called Adorn. In this mod, it gives you a whole lot of furnitures that you can use. And, it looks pretty sweet as well. I mean, look at this! You can sit in chairs, you can work on tables. Oh, by the way, these are... If you just place one, there will be two extra legs here. The only reason that it's connected like this is because these are the same type of table. Well, it's the same version of the table, with a different type of wood anyway. And there are also tabletops, drawer, drawers, poles, um, platforms, steps, lamps, which is toggleable, but you can't see at this moment because it's sunny. There are chimneys, chain link fences, iron fences, stone torches, stone ladders, sinks, desks, and even shelves which you can put things in. There's also a trader's manual, 
which can tell you stuff about the trading table, which is over here, by the way. Now, this is the trading table. It is essentially a thing where you can trade with other people. The way this works is by you putting the things that you want for the thing that you're selling. The final thing of this mod is this thing over here, decorating your home. This is the book where it tells you what the things are, like tables, chairs, building blocks, posts, platforms, steps, and kitchen blocks, sofas, and all of that. Anyway, this is gonna be it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of... Nothing, because there's no more series. Bye!